Well, it is Halloween weekend, and you might still be looking for a costume yeah. if you procrastinated just a little bit. But don't worry, because Tess has some ideas. Yeah, she's uh, in the building today <laughs> and uh, getting some tips on how to do that. Is she going to do all our makeup? Uh, what is she going to yeah. do? All right, there you go, Tess. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Chris and Aaron. Yes, I have the most talented 15 year old I've ever met here, Miss Sky Kernet. She's working with me this morning. She's been doing uh, pumpkin lips on me as well as some cobwebs right here. And she's also the art director for Mosley's upcoming production of Little Shop of Horrors mm -hmm. happening in December. Mm -hmm. So, Sky, I'm going to let you complete the look mm -hmm. and tell me exactly what you're using and what you're doing so folks at home can recreate this look. It's a really simple, easy to use, like felt tip liner and it's like really nice to use a lot of the time and uh, you can get like really nice lines here and like that's really all you need just like a few lines and then some arches and boom you got a really nice spider web yeah so some diagonal lines and where did you get this product so viewers at home could get it as well it's really simple it's from Walmart and it's really cheap honestly and like I just went the other day and just grabbed it and didn't have to worry too much about expenses or like having to get it from a pretty like expensive place. Yeah. Online. So what did you do for my lips and for you know my eyeshadow as well? I added on uh, some orange uh, to both eyeshadow and lips and I gave it some dimension with uh, some more of a, like a burnt orange and added on some eyeliner to the lips, which I mean, sometimes it can be a bit weird. It's like, why add something that's supposed to be on your eye to your lips? But it works, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it helped create that pumpkin. So for viewers at home who are maybe not the best with eyeshadow, what did you do and what colors did you use to kind of get this spooky little look that's happening? Well, it's simply three colors from a palette. It's uh, orange, green, and purple, and it can really give those like spooky Halloween vibes without being like, too gory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely something that we want at home. And, you know, for viewers at home too, you know, what, how, what inspired you to get into makeup? Well, it was just seeing so many different colors and thought like, what could I do like to make a, like, a cool, creative difference, you know? like. Like, you don't see pumpkin lips everywhere now. <laughs> yeah. So, Sky actually came up with all these looks that you saw today. Literally, she drew them and then she showed it to us. So, super great here. Um, I'm going to let her continue on my face because she does have to add some eyeshadow to again make it super spooky. But, Sky, I want to say thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're so talented. And if you want to see her work in action and some of the other work of Mosley students as well, uh, it's going to be in December, Little Shop of Horrors. And I'll post more information on our website, mypinhandle.com, if you want to see it. But for now, back to you guys in the studio and happy Halloween.